Here we are with my yearly pleading or semi-annual pleading not to update ESDE within itself. Do not use the app to update itself if you are an MUDEC user. This happens at least once a year, sometimes twice a year. ESDE pushes out a rather large update and you get this notification inside your app saying, hey, you can update from here. Don't. ESDE and MUDEC are not great bedfellows, and the things that MUDEC does to help ESDE work well within its environment can't be solved by upgrading in here. Instead, hit cancel. Quit ESDE. Go to MUDEC. Go to Manage Emulations or Manage Emulators and select ESDE, Update, Reinstall. Why? Well, I've got tons of videos explaining why, but people for some reason don't seem to catch them before they do these updates. ESDE and EMUDEC don't always work perfectly together. EMUDEC actually does things to help ESDE run better inside of the EMUDEC environment. If you update ESDE from within ESDE, Nothing bad may appear to happen to you, and maybe you get lucky in parts of ESDE that MUDEC helps with don't get affected. But if you want to be safe, if you use some emulators that maybe ESDE has dropped in the past, but MUDEC still supports, this is how you make sure that you get the latest version that works properly inside of MUDEC. Okay, now when we go back, you'll find that the update message is gone and you have the latest version, which is what we all really want, right? And we're absolutely positive that MUDEC did whatever's necessary to make sure that ESDE continues to work properly inside of the MUDEC environment. Thanks so much for watching.